From PsychHub and Columbia University Department of Psychiatry and presented by HCA Healthcare, You Ask, We Answer. The most important tips that I would encourage someone with OCD to tap into are, number one, ask yourself every day, would I rather live my life with risk or have to live my life like this? Would I rather live my life with some risk or have to live my life confined to this internal set of rules and have to yield to my anxiety? The second big piece that I would factor in is asking yourself, am I approaching or avoiding? So you really want to ask, am I avoiding things or finding a way to escape my anxiety or temporarily get rid of my anxiety? Because that's usually going to aggravate my anxiety in the long term. Can I approach this? Can I make space for this? Which leads to the third skill, which we touched on earlier, which is if you can make room for this, it will take up less space. So if you can make room for something scary and you can really own it and stare it in its face, and talk through it and process it emotionally, it will take up less space in your life than trying to restrict something or keep something at bay. Another really important skill, I call it make it worse to make it better. And I definitely recommend doing this like with a therapist as your sideline coach. But the instinct with OCD or with obsessions is you want reassurance and you want to get rid of this feeling or sensation or thought. But if you can actually exaggerate the thought and you know kind of put bells and whistles on the thought, and take it far, like take it to your core fear, a lot of times making it worse to make it better really, really gets rid of the fear or the distress itself. Tip number five, stay with the thought, play with the thought. So if you're afraid that because you made a typo in your email and all of a sudden you're catastrophizing that everyone's going to think that you're not smart and you're going to get fired. So maybe agree with the thought in this case, which nobody ever thinks to do. If you can flip that script, it changes the valence of the thought a lot. And you can actually, that's where you have room for humor. You can find a way to make it worse to make it better and stay with the thought and play with the thought. A lot of the time it will really, really help take some of the sting or the gravity out of the thought. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or topics you'd like to see in future episodes, drop those in the comments below or head over to our community tab to join the discussion. You Ask, We Answer is here to answer your questions around mental health. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You can also find an extended interview with this guest on the You Ask, We Answer podcast, available now wherever you get your podcasts.